the adaptable and good-natured American Shorthair retains his hunting ability, but these days he is more likely to be a family companion. If you're looking for an easygoing family cat who is just as happy chilling out as playing around, this is the breed for you. American Shorthairs are known for being very adaptable and independent. So if you can't hang at home with me all the time, it's all good. In this video, we'll tell you about American Shorthair Cat Breed. Everything you need to know. Number 10. History They aren't listed on the manifest, but cats were undoubtedly among the passengers and crew that disembarked from the Mayflower when it arrived at Plymouth, Massachusetts in 1620. Their ratting abilities made cats valued members of ship's crews, and they may well have made their way to the New World even earlier on ships that carried settlers to the Jamestown colony in Virginia, Spanish explorers to Florida, and Vikings to Newfoundland. Some of the descendants of those seafaring cats known prosaically as shorthairs are domestic shorthairs, became what we know today as American shorthairs. Cats were valued on land as well as at sea. Farmers, shopkeepers, and householders all needed a good cat to protect their stores of food from mice, rats, and other vermin. The shorthairs were solid, hardy, working stock well-suited to the tough conditions that prevailed on the untamed continent. Such good hunters were they that a publication from 1634 credits them with saving a New England colony's crops from squirrels and chipmunks. From their coastal arrival points, they went west with settlers and thrived. By 1895, shorthairs had made enough of a mark that they were exhibited at the first cat show in the United States. The Cat Fanciers Association recognized them as a breed in 1906. To differentiate them from random bred cats, also known as domestic shorthairs, the pedigreed felines were given the name American shorthairs in 1966. The cats are recognized by all registries. Number 9. Size The American shorthair weighs 7 to 12 pounds. As a working cat, American shorthairs have a stocky muscular build. Their muscular legs lend themselves to the American's agility and endurance. They have a large head and full face, medium-sized ears, and large, wide eyes. The American shorthair is a medium-sized cat but she is a very powerful one. She is heavily muscled and has heavy boning. The American Shorthair is a powerful cat. All components of this cat should be well developed. She has a broad chest, a muscular neck, strong jaws, and a well-developed muzzle. 8. Temperament She's adaptable and good-natured, which makes her the ideal family companion. Although she loves attention from her people, including children, the American Shorthair does not like being carried and is fairly independent. She may curl up on your lap on occasion, but she may prefer to sit alongside you instead. The American Shorthair is a mellow yet sociable breed. They were bred from working cats whose job included rodent control in agricultural settings and on ships so they have strong hunting instincts. While American Shorthairs enjoy their independence, they also get along well with humans. They often find them camped on the lap of their favorite people. They're moderately affection and not overly needy for attention. 7. Personality The adaptable and good-natured American Shorthair retains his hunting ability, but these days he is more likely to be a family companion a job at which he excels. The American Shorthair is a very pleasant companion cat. She is easygoing and placid. The American is a loving cat and will attach herself to all members of the family. While the American loves to play, she doesn't need hourly attention. She is a very good companion for single people. He has a middle-of-the-road temperament, being calm but not comatose. The American Shorthair is moderately active and enjoys a good playtime as much as the next cat, 
but he's not overly demanding of attention or activity. As befits a working class cat who has made good, he is smart and enjoys playing with puzzle toys and interactive toys. He has a sociable nature and isn't the type to hide under the bed when visitors arrive. 6. Health Both pedigreed cats and mixed breed cats have varying incidences of health problems that may be genetic in nature. American shorthairs are generally healthy, but be sure to ask a breeder about the incidence of health problems in her lines and what testing has been done for any that are genetic in nature. Number 5. Exercise Requirements American Shorthairs are a playful breed that requires moderate exercise to stay healthy and happy. American Shorthair kittens are fun-loving and they continue to be playful well into their older years. Take advantage of their desire to chase by playing with toys. You can even teach them how to fetch. Keeping kittens entertained and keeping their brain healthy as they age requires enrichment that encourages engagement. 4. Care The American Shorthair's coat is easily cared for by combing or brushing it a couple of times a week to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. The thickness of the cat's coat and the amount it sheds vary based on climate and time of year. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft, damp cloth. Moistened. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. American shorthairs like their meals, so they can easily become overweight. To prevent obesity, measure their food instead of free feeding them. It's a good idea to keep an American Shorthair as an indoor only cat to protect him from diseases spread by other cats. Keep him indoors also protects local birds and wildlife from this talented hunter. American Shorthairs who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. Number 3. Coat Color and Grooming the American Shorthair has the body of a working cat, stocky, muscular, and strong. His bill gives him the agility and endurance he needs as a first-rate stalker, and heavily muscled legs make him capable of pouncing, jumping, and climbing to get his furred or feathered prey. This is a medium-sized to large cat, slightly longer than he is tall. A large head with a full-cheeked face gives the American Shorthair a sweet, open expression. He has medium-sized ears that are slightly rounded at the tips and large, wide eyes. A short, thick coat comes in a large assortment of colors and patterns, solid, tabby, calico, tortoise shell, bicolor, particolor, and more. The Silver Classic Tabby pattern is probably the most popular of them all. 2. Children and Other Pets The laid-back but playful American Shorthair is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He can learn tricks and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He'll get along fine with dogs if they don't give him any trouble. He is a skilled hunter but may learn to leave pet birds or other small animals alone if he is introduced to them at an early age. When in doubt, however, separation is best. Always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. Number 1. Facts The breed wasn't called American Shorthair until 1966 when it was given the name to distinguish it from other domestic shorthairs and random bred shorthairs. Because they resemble so many other domestic shorthair cats, the only way to know yours is American is with certified breed papers. An American shorthair was named CFA's Cat of the Year in 1965, 1984, and 1996. Do let us know in the comment which one is your favorite cat breed. Please subscribe to the All Cats. Thanks for watching.